sorry for all this. We needed to speak to you somewhere without. We're going to put Dyatlov on trial. And Brukhanov and Famine. We're going to be asked to give expert testimony. All three of us. But before that happens, the Central Committee is sending Legasso to Vienna. It's the headquarters of the International Atomic, Atomic Energy Agency. I know what's in Vienna. What are they asking you to do? Tell the world what happened. Well, then you'd better know what happened. I've constructed a timeline, minute by minute, second by second in some places. Every decision, every button push, every turn of a switch. And are they guilty? Yes. Of gross incompetence, violation of safety regulations, recklessness beyond belief. But the explosion? I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? I've analyzed the data. Toptonov was telling the truth. He shut the reactor down, and then it exploded. I think this article may have the answer. But two pages have been removed. You've seen this before. Please believe me when I tell you that I had no idea it could cause an explosion. None of us knew. None of you knew what? In 1975, at an RBMK reactor at Leningrad, a fuel channel ruptured. The operators pressed AZ-5, but instead of the power going down immediately, for a brief moment, it went up. How is that possible? Well, this is the very question posed by a colleague of mine named Volkov. He's the one who wrote this article. When an RBMK reactor runs at low power, it's notoriously unstable, prone to swings in reactivity. Under normal circumstances, the control rods can compensate for that. Under normal circumstances, the Chernobyl staff stalled the reactor during the test. They pulled almost all the control rods out to bring the power back up. This is what Volkov learned from Leningrad. If the boron control rods are completely withdrawn from the reactor, when they're put back in, the first thing that enters the core isn't boron. It's graphite. Control rods have graphite tips that displace water and steam. So the reactivity doesn't go down, it goes up dramatically. Why on earth would they press that button? They didn't know. Volkov warned the Kremlin ten years ago. That's, there could be no doubt about the uh, supremacy of the Soviet nuclear industry. Oh. The KGB classified it as a state secret. When I saw the reactor blown open, I still didn't think it could be this floor in AZ-5. Because the floor will not lead to an explosion unless the operators have pushed the reactor to the edge of disaster. So it is their fault? Yes. But not only their fault. No. Is that what you're going to say in Vienna? You can't possibly be that naive. There are 16 RBMK reactors running in the Soviet Union right now. We have to fix them. The only way to do that is to go public, force the Central Committee to take action. What you're proposing is that Legasov humiliate a nation that is obsessed with not being humiliated. We can make a deal with the KGB. You'll leave this information out in Vienna, or they quietly let us fix the remaining reactors. A deal with the KGB, and I'm naive. I'll go after your 